Okay, so another day and another tutorial. And today we're going to be dealing with formatting with GetLine. And this program is going to be quite involved here, so bear with me. I spent a long time working on this. Um, it has, it would, you know, figuring out how to make the program run was no problem. Um, but, you know, this is a tutorial and I can't just stop at, you know, how it works. I have to understand why it works or to at least the best extent possible. And, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to show you what my uh, tribulations with this program is all about. And uh, get the code started here. Anyways, um, just get started. We have um, what what looks to be the uh, an integer. We call it range, and we call it made it a constant. Um, and we uh, decided to, um, well, I decided to make a, well, whatever. Basically, I made a a, a string array uh, under name tab, and the size will be a constant size of 12. Here are, are um, two initialized uh, integer variables. And below this, we're going to do uh, the reader uh, function here. So it acknowledges the context, the contents inside uh, the text folder. Now, here's the program, and uh, here's the text. It's already been done, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, so after that, we have this if statement. If it doesn't exist in the directory of the program, if it doesn't exist in the directory, the program will shut down. We've seen this before, so I'm not going to run it with, you know, that thing not being there because we know what that does, and it'll just close out of the console. Next up, we have... Uh, this comment here, and this is quite important. The get line function can have a third argument to specify, to specify a delimiter, a delimiter, at which to stop a uh, stop reading a line. Okay, and um, let's see how I should start this. Go ahead and. Uh, Get this out there and the else statement here. And then close it. And uh, let's see. Oh, you're missing something. Definitely missing something. Let me go ahead and fix that for you. Alright, so now we got a working if else. Let me format it a little nicer. Um, I think that'll be good enough. So basically, um, uh, what what this while statement is going to do is it's going to check for this condition uh, while the while uh, the text file is not at the end of file, it'll continue the while loop. Here we'll um, start adding in um, to the i in, uh, i variable. Uh, well, it'll be checking. Here it'll be incrementing. It'll be checking. Uh, if it if it hits three, it'll be three plus one uh, modulus four. That will equate to zero, and then this if condition gets fulfilled and the statement starts to run. Otherwise, 
is going to start uh, reading through that text uh, document and then it's going to start incrementing uh, the I value uh, by one and um, then this tab this ends the line for the first three items um, which when I when I read this made very little sense but I'll try to try my best to make sense of that in a bit but basically how it works is that anytime it senses a tab in the program and it will it will basically just do this get line thing and then space it out um, and the only way you can kind of really understand this is to see how it's done wrong um, so where are we where are we ah here it is these are here are all tabs oops don't want to do that space that will mess up the whole program so that's what they're searching for below this and this is just the bare bones uh, function here so that's what I'm working on right now um, it's gonna uh, close the file stream and then we're gonna reinitialize I to zero and I do that because it's gonna be well oh, there's all those comments anyways um, we're gonna re um, go for another while loop and at zero it's gonna start incrementing as we start um, um, utilizing it I guess um, and as such um, it'll stop at the um, at the once it once it once it displays the twelfth element. So so yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, run this sucker. And uh, sure enough, um, it has uh, what it should have. 